take 100. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to... <laughs> welcome back to a studio vlog, another studio vlog with me. I know it's been months, but I am back. Um, the biggest update is I am officially a dog mom and he takes up a lot of my time. So now I kind of work around his schedule. Another thing too is I've been working on a lot of commissions and side projects like behind the scenes and I miss recording that process. I miss like the whole vlogging aspect. Um, so I'm back. So one of the main things I want to show you guys today is the process I worked on for this guy. So I've been wanting to make my own mascot for a while and I thought the lunar moth would be so perfect because of my obsession with the moon and nightscapes and all that jazz. Another thing too, I've been highly requested by you guys to make pop sockets. I thought I can have a little fun with that and delve more into resin art and ceramics. So today I'm going to be making ceramic pop sockets and pins. Um, yeah. Hi guys, um, if you watch this entire vlog, thank you so much uh, for coming along this journey with me and watching my process. I want to do better at YouTube and posting my methods and my process also for me because when I rewatch my videos, I'm able to analyze where I can improve and um, like do better. So yeah, the results are um, I only made clay pins. I feel like the ceramic moons that I made just weren't appropriate for pop sockets. They just didn't look right in my eyes. Um, it's definitely something I don't want to give up on, like making ceramic pop sockets, but for now, I think in my next vlog I'm going to do resin pop sockets uh, just to fulfill that request that you guys had. Also while I'm, while I'm here, a while back um, I did like a quick Q&A and because I haven't been on YouTube for months I never got to those questions and unfortunately when I looked back at um, like when I asked that question like oh ask me anything when I went back on the Instagram archive, 
um, none of the answers were there and I don't know why that is um, but I do remember two of the questions I don't remember who they were from so I'm really sorry uh, but one question was what's your favorite color um, if I'm being quite honest there's I don't really have one I feel like there are definitely colors I gravitate towards but I'm not committed to a favorite color as of right now I really love pinks and lavender um, like I have like a lavender dress that I've been super obsessed with. My phone case is lavender. A lot of things I like to choose are pink. Um, so I guess pink and lavender. And then someone else asked, I think it was Lorraine, but Lorraine asked, are you looking forward to the new Sailor Moon movie that's coming out on Netflix? And because this was a while ago, it didn't come out. It is currently out as we speak. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. I have not watched it yet. Um, I do plan on watching it in sub. I hate dub. I hate dub anime. I'm sorry if you like it. I just don't like it. But I'm going to watch it in sub, so I need to, like, actually take a moment where I can watch an anime and actually pay attention. Currently, whenever I watch movies or YouTube, I'm, like, working or doing something, and it's just served as background noise so it's been a while since I've actually took the time to actually like focus and watch something and all the more read subtitles so that's why I haven't really watched any new anime yet or any new k-dramas because I haven't taken that time to focus on it and read it um, but yes I'm looking forward to it when I do eventually watch it I kind of want to make it like a me day thing and order some takeout sushi and watch it and just kind of like enjoy myself but um, yes unfortunately those are the only two questions that I have if you have any more questions feel free to DM me on Instagram at Sokimochi or leave in the comments down below as well um, until next time thank you again for watching bye